In this video, I will show you how to make a letterhead in Google Docs. So to do this, firstly, let's, let me delete this. So I'll just create a simple letterhead that will be, that will make sense and it can be used for any thing. So to do this, firstly, let's just insert. Let's click on insert, then go to your drawing, then new. So when it's finished loading, you can then add a shape to it. Shape, as you can see, there are a lot of shape right here. So you can just select any shape of your choice. Let me just use this one. Then I draw the shape right here. This is the shape. So you can give the shape a color, as you can see. Select any color of your choice. So when done, you can give it outline color if you like. So let me just give it, um. okay, let me give it the blue color. So when you don't click on save, so right now here is the color. So the next thing for us to do is just to go back again. Let me click outside of it. As you can see. Let me click FK. So the next thing for you to do is to go again, insert, drawing, new. So to bring out this box. Again, you can then add your logo to it. I will just click on image. And I upload an image, the logo from my PC. So I have our logo, which is a Viber Tech logo. So just click on it to add it. Okay, the logo is on my desktop. You can just go to anywhere you have the logo on your PC. So here's our logo. Then click on open to continue. As you can see, the logo is uploading. So right here, here is the logo right here. So you can reduce the size of the logo. To any size of your choice. So one right when done with that, let the, let let us add a text to it. Text box, as you can see, text box right here. So you can draw the text box in front of the logo. Let's just make it a little bit small. So you can add a text to it, which is the company name. Why bar tech? Let me just add more stuff to it. YouTube. Okay. It's okay like this. But if you just want to add them, just this white bar text, you can break the text down here, depending on how you want it. So you can change the. Oh, sorry. Let me just make it. So you can, when you're done with this, you can move the logo to anywhere you want it. So as you can see right here, you can change you can change the font size to any one. You can change the font to any one of your choice. As you can, as you can see, there are different font right here. Just select any one. As you can see, there are a lot of fonts. So you can select any one of your choice. So I'll just be using this one. Let's use this. And you can bold it, come right here, bold. You can increase the size if you want. So you can change the text color to any color of your choice. As you can see, here's the, here's it right here. You can move it. So when done with this, you can also click on text box. And you draw the text box to add your address, phone number, and every other thing. So let's just come here, add the, add, add the email, the email first, depending on how you want it, you know. So let me just add the email first. Let me just say what about uh, at um, youtube.com, okay? Just like that. youtube.com. So after that, I will add the uh, address to it for the three. All over, over, sorry. Avad Street. So when done with that, you can then add the phone number to it, telephone, which is with I'll just add the tel phone number, then it of telephone plus O one. It's the original phone number, just add it to it. So when done with this, you can then you can increase this right here so it will fit. You can decrease the font size of this one. 
So let's come right here. Then you can decrease the font. Then you can move it to align. Align right. Align right. So you can give it any color of your choice also. It depends on how you want it. As you can see, you just come down. You come right here. Sorry. You come right here. Then you give it any color of your choice. Just depend on how you want it. As you can see. So you can move it so it will fit on the page. And so you can increase it some more. Depend on how you want this thing. But I'm just giving an example of how to create a letterhead in Google Docs. So when done with this, next thing for you to do is just to is for you to save and close. So right now I've clicked on save and close as you can see. Here is the letterhead right here. So just click on it, then click on in front of test. So you can move this heading to anywhere of your choice. As you can see, here is the letterhead. So you can move it anywhere, anywhere of your choice. This one should be in front of test. So right now, as you can see, here is a simple letterhead which I've just created. So you can just also come down below right here. Also come below right here to add a rectangle to this side also. What you have to do is just to go back again, insert, then click on drawing new. You can just come to shapes, shape, then click on this one. Oh, sorry, there are other ones you can use. As you can see, the A is one right here. So you can select any one of your choice. So let me just let me try this and see. Let me see what is what I what we got from this one. And you can give it color of your choice. I'll be using the red color. So right now, as you can see. So when done with this, you can then save and close. You can move this one also in front of this, then you can bring it down. Just bring it down to the last edge. So for it to move to the last edge, you can just change it to footer, just double click below. As you can see, footer, so then you can move it down. So you can drag it. There's not a must you add this to it. If you don't know how to add it, you can just leave the top one as it is right there. So let me now zoom out so you can see what I've just done. As you can see, here is a simple letterhead in. Google Docs. Also, you can move this one up, up again. Just double click, then you move it to the other. As you can see. Also, you can increase the size of this one right here. Then you move it. So the right place. Let's increase this so as to move it to the right place. Move it to the right side. So that was also as you can see right now. I think everything is now set. So let's just check it with this one 50%. So as you can see. Here's the letterhead. So that's how to do this. If you don't like this line here, you can delete it. As you can see here, it is right here. You can also add a watermark to it. So to do this, just click on insert, then watermark. You can use the logo as the watermark. Select image. Then upload. So browse to select the image. So 
so it's on desktop go to the location where you have your own image and you select the image of your choice open as you can see the image is uploading so as you can see here is a watermark you can just add it to it so the watermark has been defeated so when I click on done so right now as you can see I've just made a letterhead in Google Docs hope this video helped please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel see you in the next video